Every summer, my oldest daughter goes to her dad's for a couple of months to visit him. This summer, I wanted to surprise her by redoing her room while she was gone. I started out by painting the walls in her room, giving her an accent wall in this color clary sage, and getting a few new pieces to redo to give her room the boho vibe that I know she wanted. I got this dresser off of Facebook Marketplace for $50. I redid it for her, sanded it, painted it, and made it brand new. I absolutely loved doing this project for her. It was so much fun to give her room a new grown-up vibe now that she's getting a little bit older. So I finally was able to put everything together after I finished the dresser. I went through all of her clothes to pick out the stuff that didn't fit her anymore and organized it nice for her. And then I decorated everything. Here is how it turned out. I love it and I cannot wait to show it to her so make sure you stay tuned if you'd like to see her reaction because she's coming back really soon. I am so proud of how this turned out and all the love that went into her new room. Upon moving in, my roommate's room had floor to ceiling mirrors, which were not the vibe we were going for. So we pulled them off and I wanted to give a lime wash finish like this. So I grabbed this paint by a brand called Portola. Started off by applying a coat of the primer and then came the tedious part of hand painting on all of the textures. This is how you get that really fun texture on the walls. You have to hand paint everything on, allow it to dry in between coats. And this is what it ends up looking like, which is absolutely stunning. I peeled off all of my tape and applied some new curtains from Ikea. And you'd think after spending three days on painting the walls, I'd be done with them, but nope. I actually went back in with some wall molding. This is by a brand called Lux Architectural. It is peel and stick. I used a level to make sure it was nice and leveled and painted all of it to match the walls as well. And as far as furniture goes, I really wanted an authentic vintage style dresser, but they were just out of budget. So I opted for this affordable Ikea option that I popped these glass knobs on just to kind of elevate the look. And then we added in everything else, including a floor rug, some wall decor, some dresser decor, books here and there, throw pillows, a new light fixture. And that's how I turned this space from this to this. wanted a big girl room. Right, of course, mommy listened. This weekend, I renovated my friend's room for their birthday, and I want to show you how it turned out. So this is the before, and the very first thing we did was add a peel and stick wallpaper. This is definitely a two-person job, so keep that in mind if you're going to try this out. And after that, I wanted to build a custom headboard for the bed. So I built these panels with an arch on the top of them, and then we picked out some foam and fabric and upholstered them. I built this really strong frame that goes on the back, and this is an up close view. I really love the way this turned out. We got some chairs and new bedspreads, added lights next to the bed, 
and here's how it all looks. This is the before and this is what it looks like now. It's so fun and really matches her personality. Make sure you're following me for the next room renovation. It's been a while since I've changed up my room and it was starting to get pretty stale, which is why I decided to get some new stuff for it and move things around. I moved my TV stand back to its original spot so I could add more of my vinyl records to the wall. That also meant I had to move my mini fridge and it was hard finding a place for it, but eventually I went with putting it in the corner where it fit almost perfect. Sadly I had to put my bestie behind the door, but she's still cute. Then I brought out my stash of records and started filling in the wall. All I was using was clear thumbtacks. And if you're wondering where I get the records, it's mostly Merch Bar and Amazon. There was one more reason why I moved everything around and it's because I got a beanbag. Why not, you know? Now I have a cool comfy little lounge to journal. Or even just relax and vibe out. I absolutely love how the record wall came out though. I crossed a lot of my favorite albums off of the list to buy and more. Picture discs are underrated by the way. My entire room looks amazing and it is no doubt the best it's ever been. I'm kinda obsessed with this. What's next? Let's make this the best room on TikTok. Although I noticed...